YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views as well as talented artists from around the world. Now, once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views. But I'm going to bring it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, today I'm going to do my best to upload about, say, three reactions. Whoops, three reactions. <laughs> and I will let you know on these particular artists as I'm going along. So, my third reaction of today is going to be Alfie Rev. And I've had the pleasure of reacting to um, Wonderland Indonesia. And that just blew my mind all over the place. It really did. It opened my eyes to so many different things and just yearned me to go over to Indonesia and check it out for myself while seeing the wonderful, amazing and dazzling uh, photos and videos what Alfie Rev done. And this track now, um, which I've been, which has been highly recommended, um, is The Beauty of Bali. And I can't wait to check this out. If this got anything to do or look like um, Indonesia or that same kind of path, then I'm all up for it. I really am. Or anything else, I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. So look, that's going to be my third reaction of today. But before that, if this is your first time coming over to my channel, then please go over to my homepage and work your way from the bottom all the way up to the top because there's some fantastic, amazing artists which I do not want you to miss out on. And I have simplified it for you. I have broken it down into various musical categories. Just remember, when you go into these individual categories, these are artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists and i promise you you will not be disappointed whatsoever so enjoy yourself and make sure that you come back and leave me a comment so we can have an interaction with each other anyway look that's going to be um my next reactions and well sorry not that's going to be my reaction my next reaction is going to be the beauty of bali alfie um alfie rev and i can't wait to press the play button so without further ado you know what we're here for great vocabs and i Damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? Yeah, right now. I understand that in Indonesia, they've got Little London and it's got all the buildings of um, London houses, even the London Park and the London, everything just looks London. The like old fashioned England, so to speak. Let's check that out. I'm going to stop it right there. Um, I'm enjoying this already. I'm enjoying the culture. I'm, con I'm um, enjoying the traditional clothes. I'm enjoying the fusion. And I'm enjoying the location. I'm enjoying the beauty. <laughs> there is so much things to enjoy within just the visuals of this particular song. And the what does Alfie Rev does, it, the way how it just promotes all these different kind of elements, the old and the new, and it smashes it together to create something beautiful, is unbelievable. It's breathtaking. That's the only way I can put it. It's breathtaking. Every little intricate little thing that he's doing in, within this music video, it's breathtaking. It, that's the only way that you can, and you all you can do is sit back and and be dazzled and and have the wow every two seconds. You're playing wow, 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 and I and I and I suppose 
That's the design of what he wanted. Um, that wow factor. And everything in there is that wow factor. There's a lot of people that participated to do to get this happening. Same thing with the Wonderland of Indonesia. Um, but yeah, it, it's just taking my breath away. It's just making me... It, it, it almost sends me on a different kind of path of imaginations. Because when you, you do look at certain music videos and you start going into deeper thoughts... And but this one brings you in the, um, a lovely imagination of that you were that if you was there, you know that sentence. If I was there, finish it off for me. You know, if I was there, you, you've got that sense of, um, in there as well. It's just really, really nice all around. It's just wonderful and beautiful. I'm gonna go back just a little bit. About say, mm, about here. traditional instruments fusing together with the modern sounds. Very, very clever. Only way to do it. Let me know about the guy dances with the makeup as well because it almost seems that they've got the same makeup as the females so are they supposed to be guy or guys dressing up as females let me know about that i know it takes an absolutely long time to do the traditional dancing as well and so much goes into it It's hard work, don't, don't get me wrong. If it looks so easy and lovely. Hard work to make it so beautiful. Someone where the traditional values are so so high and not forgotten and even respected more than the, the modern elements where the storyline is so strong where other countries certain stories of the past is almost diluted Go over there and they can tell us a, a particular storyline of, of yesterday and remember it like it was yesterday. Love that. The temple story behind the, uh, the tiger, or the mythical tiger, that's right. He's a protector of something. So 
that was Alfie Rev with The Beauty of Ballet. And listen, it took my breath away in all different kind of aspects. It really did. It's one thing that I have to go back into and look at a number of times because I believe that there are certain things that I've missed out on. Certain things that I didn't capture the first time, but certainly look out for the second time and the third time and the fourth time. This is not one of these songs or, or videos that you're only supposed to look at once and say, oh, brilliant, and that's it, and no more of it. It wants you to look at it more times because there's, sing there's certain intricate things that I know that I've missed out. I know that and I need to go back and see, oh, oh, you know, what's that? And certain things, you know, things like that. Overall, it had this mysterious but dazzling appearance. It wants you to go deeper, but it wants you to answer loads of questions. It wants you to go um, le to look at left, look at right, listen to this sound, look at listen to that sound. It was loads of questions for someone who's not um, from Indonesia, someone who has an experience that's wanting to go there. Um, this would be a breathtaking video for them to look at. Certainly would be, and. Um, like I said, look, not all things are um, honeys and honey and bees, you know. It's hard work. There's a lot of trials and tribulations and a lot of heartfelt and a lot of pain as well as all the happiness and joy things that come from there as well. But to experience both of them, you get the appreciation of what is, um, you know, reason why you should go over there and experience the, um, the, ultra culture, and the, the ultra culture of um, what is Indonesia as, not, as well as other parts around Indonesia as well. Because it, it certainly warrants it, you know, from the waterfalls, from the lovely garden, from, you know, it, it's the beauty in it. But you can see, but you should also experience the, the, the heartache and the pain that goes in within the beauty, you know, because they come hand in hand and they have the respect for it. That's why I believe the traditional values and the traditional stories are kept for so long and, and, and preserved than any other country that I do know. I think second in the line would have to be China where they preserve their history and the storylines of their history. But, you know, and any other countries like, you know, England, America, whatever have you, it's kind of like diluted into um, a storyline of uh, a sketchy truth just for, of, of, so it can sort of like control you. Certain histories can control, can control the future, but without any kind of appreciation of um, what is the history I've gone through. What I'm seeing over here, when you're seeing the history and the culture and the storyline of it, is, is preserved and protected in the right quality way. So when it's been told, it's presented in a beautiful way, like you've just seen. Absolutely amazing. And for that reason, I salute you. I can't wait to look into more of Alfred Red's material because he's got quite a bit. And I really, really appreciate what he's doing and respect how he's doing it.